I would only do one of these per exercise. You do say three, three exercises, three sets. Well, only on the third set would I use a high intensity technique, partial uh, as a high intensity technique. So let's say you're doing dumbbell curls. Let's say I can't do anymore. Let's say this is my eighth and, eighth and final rep, but I can still do partials. Keep it going, keep your reps going. You can do that with a barbell too. That'll light up your biceps. Iso hold. So let's say you're doing single arm. Let's say you do your eight reps. Can't do anymore, you hit failure. So now you do an iso hold on your eighth rep. You come up and then you hold right here and count to 10. And if you wanna make it real hard, have your training partner push down on your hand too. Or you can do a drop set. So you get eight, you go to failure, then you drop it 10 pounds and you keep going. My point is, is to take a couple sets of your workout and use the high intensity technique. And this is why I don't really like cheating on exercises. You don't need to cheat. You have so many different options. You could just lower the weight and keep your form strict and get the same thing without tearing your body up. Or you could just do partials. You could do things like this that I think will tax the muscle even more and do it more safely. I mean, do you want to cheat a little bit? Yeah, I guess you can, but no one can convince me that you have to when you have all these different options available.